all again. <laughs> that is unbelievable. This is the magic of television. This is what they do. You have no idea. American Idol really isn't live. But now this, that's been spoiled, Dan. So now you have to ask. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm live. Live TV, everyone. Hello, Facebook. Here we go. Hello, and welcome to Summit School's graduation for the 2020-21 school year. Well, we made it. Just saying those four simple words brings a sigh of relief. The past 15 months have been like none that we've ever experienced. In addition to our global pandemic, that created incredible barriers to learning and presented a world of numerous challenges and unknowns, our city and school was devastated by a derecho that further threatened our ability to teach and learn to our faculty and staff. Applause. Our board of trustees. Applause. and equally as important to our students and families for their dedication and determination to provide an in-school learning experience in spite of the aforementioned obstacles. As a community, we made all this possible. As a community, we overcame adversity. And as a community, we paved the pathway for even greater summit successes going forward. I thank you all for being a part of this experience with us today. Today represents the culmination of the hard work of many, many people. Thank you. Before we get to the graduates, I'd like to recognize one person whose tireless efforts, not only in the boardroom, but also in the Lego room, helped to make some amazing things possible at Summit. We'd like to present Dan Clark with our Coach Mentor Award. Dan's dedication to Summit and to our Lego program is unparalleled. We thank you, Dan, for all you do for our school. Dan. Now I'd like to turn it over to Pally, our board president, for a few quick words. Hello everyone, and congratulations to the three awesome graduates. I will miss Dalton, Jasic, and Braden at Summit, but I know that you have left your mark on our school in your own unique ways. One piece, it's not working. Okay, Can I, should I do that again? <laughs> Hello everyone, and congratulations to the three awesome graduates. I will miss Dalton, Jasic, and Braden at Summit, but know that you have left your mark uh, in our school in your own unique ways. One piece of advice I would like to give you is to try everything and anything you can at high school. You will make amazing friends trying your hand at many things. I cannot wait to hear what you love the best. Use your summer ethic and your love for learning and make us proud. As some of you know, I'm honored to serve as your president of the Board of Trustees here at Summit. It has been a challenging 15 months, as Paul has just said. But with Dan Clark by my side as the best VP ever, and the talent and dedication of the rest of the board members, it has been both a pleasure and inspiring to navigate through these difficult times. Our board members spend three to six years on board working with administration with their own skill set to see a smooth oversight of Summit. This year, four board members' terms are ending, and one is moving overseas. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Lynn Davy. Lynn Davy is not only an active board member, she is also, as you know, a mother to two summit students who we will miss dearly. As the Davy family set off for France, where they begin their new experiences, I know we will hold them dearly in our heart, as I am sure they will take a piece of summit with them. Thank you, Lynn and family.
Matt Doty. Matt has served on our board for, I think, five years. He has been our voice of reason and has steadied our ship in, a rough, in rough times. Matt's older children attended Lynn Academy, so his connection to Summit extends from its beginnings. Both his younger children have also attended Summit, Ian as a middle schooler who graduated last year from Summit, and Matt's as an ex-day helper after school. We are grateful for the dedication and love that you have for Summit, and we will miss you dearly. Thank you. This is hard to speak like right now. Virginia. Virginia Michalicek has served on our summit for school boards for six consecutive years. She is not only grandma to Malia, a summit alumni, but she came to summit with an array of knowledge in the development world. I will never forget the lessons she has taught me and the priceless advice she has provided to our board. Virginia is one of the most generous souls you will ever meet, and we are excited for her move to California, but will miss her presence in and about summit. Thank you is never enough for all you have done for us. Thanks for being here. Chris Parker. Chris is an alumni parent to Addison, who now attends middle school near to her home. Chris. Chris served Summit's Board of Trustees for three years and has given us invaluable information in the field of education. He came with a unique perspective that we are so grateful for. I thank him for his hard work. Chris. We'll send it on to him. Last but by no means least, in any sense of the word, Terry Peterson, who I fondly call my Iowan mother, I could stand here for days talking about Terry's accomplishments in education and her love for Summit. I do believe a piece of her heart stays at 1010 Regent Street. Terry is a countrywide known entity. She is a fellow of the Academy of Orton Practitioners and has served on the International Dyslexia Association in both Iowa and on so many levels nationally. She is a master dyslexic specialist and a tutor extraordinaire. Her beginnings were back with Lynn Academy sometime in 19, the 1970s, I think. She often reminds us, oh, sorry, with um, where she taught in a two-room school with multiple grades of 20 kids plus. She often reminds us of how she could cope as a, gu as a guide to how we should cope. I cannot even imagine the work she has done over the years but I know she has sprinkled joy and instilled a lifelong love of learning to even the most challenged of students. I don't think we can put a number of the amount of tutoring students she has had under her wing, but there are definitely hundreds which continue to this day and into the summer, she reminds me. Yes, she never rests. I would like to think that after six years on the board in this stint, and many other stints on the board in the past that we can rely on Terry for her expertise in education and her invaluable knowledge of both past, present, and the future of our school. I know that I and every board member are going to be lost without her presence and her reminders of Robert's rules. It is with this in mind, that was a private joke. It was in the, <laughs> it is with this in mind that I would like to surprise everyone here, and in particular Terry, with an honor for her lifetime dedication to Lynn Academy, McLeod Academy, and Summit Schools. I am most humbled to present the Emeritus Board Member position to Terry Peterson that will run indefinitely. <laughs> this means that she can be an integral part of our board for as much or as little as she wants. I will take the former. Thank you will never be enough. A piece of Summit's heart might help a little bit. Congratulations and please join me in three cheers for Terry Peterson. Hip, hip. Hooray. Hip, hip. Hooray. Hip, hip.
I think I'm done. Back to Paul. All right. We're almost there, guys. Almost. Stick with it. All right. Uh, at this time, I'd like to recognize two departing staff members. Uh, first, Katherine Johnson, standing back here. <laughs> Catherine has been a part of our business office for the past two and a half years or so, roughly. We'd like to say thank you for your service, and we wish you the best of luck in your retirement. The Garden Rock here is a symbol of our gratitude. We can leave it here for now so I don't crush both of us in the transition. <laughs> of this heavy rock, but Dan is available to carry it to your car. <laughs> Just kidding. Jamie will do it. All right. <laughs> Secondly, I'd like to thank Miss Emily, who's hopefully watching from home. Uh, we're happy to announce that Emily and her new baby are doing very well. Uh, <laughs> Emily served here for two years as a teacher, and she'll be greatly missed as well. All right, and with these departures come some new beginnings. I'd like to introduce and welcome Kim Crazon as our new school accountant, and she's back here. And surprise, Miss Rachel Willenborg as our new first grade teacher. We're excited by these new additions to our team. I encourage you to introduce yourselves after the graduation ceremony. Now I'm going to turn it over to Teresa for part. I mean, if this is it. Now we graduate. You ready? All right, for our graduation ceremony. Here we go. This has been an unusual year for us, graduates. I'm proud of all the work you've done. I have found a quote by Azra Nafisi. She is an American author. You get a strange feeling when you're about to leave a place. You will not only miss the people you love, but the people will miss the person you are now. At this time and this place, because you will never be this way again but you are excited for the person you're swimming towards and look forward to the new you that awaits you in the distance. And with that, I'd like to welcome Dalton up. Dalton has been with us from sixth through eighth grade. I've had the pleasure of being his teacher all three years. <laughs> When I leave Summit, I'll be going to Wash. I will walk in, joining chess club, and baseball, and hopefully football. I'm always doing things I would never have suspected what a private school or public school would ever do. For example, doing weights. My favorite thing at Summit were lifting weights, dissecting a sheep's eye, and reading a full Mace Warner series in school, and putting pool noodle stickers on my jacket. <laughs> the one thing Summit had... Some it has taught me was everything, even things I didn't know myself. Okay, I'm going to welcome our next graduate, Braden. He joined us for pre K, K, and first grade, and then came back to us for eighth grade. Braden. I'm planning on attending Cedar Valley Christian and I'm going to play sports for them. I will miss everyone at Summit and how happy they made me feel when I was here. My favorite experiences here were weightlifting and playing kickball outside. I also learned that being weird to yourself isn't a bad thing. <laughs> Last graduate is Jasek. Jasek joined us at halfway through third grade and has been with us continuously now through eighth grade. 
Jason. Come on up. When I graduate from Summit, I will be going to Kennedy. Honestly, I don't know what it will be like, so I can't really make any big plans. However, I'd like to pursue a graphic design career. I'm going to miss the friends I made and the amazingly friendly atmosphere. The people I'll probably miss the most are Miss Pat, Tommy, Liam, Miss Angie, Dong, Landon, Dan, Mr. Jamie, both of Miss Larissa, Braden, Ian, Courtney, Willabelle, and River. I wish I could say a single favorite experience, but I've had so many incredible ones that I'm afraid to call one my favorite, and then there'll be that one that I'm forgetting that is actually my favorite. <laughs> I think the main thing someone has taught me is to speak up in class or voice my concerns. But the thing that sticks out the most to me is that telling the truth is also an excuse sometimes. Congratulations, graduate. And with that, I'm going to turn it back over to Paul. Uh, again, I'd like to wish all of you the best of luck and encourage you to come back and see us. Teachers love it when you come back. We love it when you come back. So please be a part of our community forever and ever. Just kidding. All right. <laughs> I'd like to uh, thank everyone for coming or attending virtually. Please stay and enjoy some cupcakes. They look delicious and help participate in our graduate, graduate send off. So thank you all. Be safe. Have an enjoyable summer. We'll do it again next year. Thank you. Thank you.